Jesus Christ. Well, we know what he was doing while you were fucking about. Isn't that technically changing the crime scene? Because you would have had to turn it on. And you're not smoking on the crime scene. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Who was it, Becky? I, I, uh, I, uh. Becky, what happened here? Oh, George, stay yeah. back. She's trying to speak. She doesn't have a tongue. We don't have time. She's dying. Thomas, cut that wire. No! We must get her to the hospital no! immediately. What? Uh, no, no, no. She's even uh, screaming no. She's screaming no. What are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No, don't. George, stop. Why don't you listen? Yet none of them thought to like actually save her. Like she was struggling there for a good amount of time. You could have. Huh? What? We know she was struggling to speak now. I thought it was because he cut off her tongue. <laughs> you done fucked up. Good this time, Zach. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh, they tried to cover it. Okay. Key for the safe. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna say? What the hell? Even Becky has been killed. Can I shave? Why would I open that? <laughs> mm. Man. Sorry guys, it failed. Maybe if George hadn't got the wire, but... What are you gonna say? Becky. They're not gonna say much, I guess, but... Hey, it's kind of... Oh. He is. Oh, he's just gonna grin. Open. Ooh, this. What is this? Is empty. It's pretty empty. <laughs> Amazement. My dear sister, I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. I 
left her there. She was suffering so much, and I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me, too. But I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna became a goddess. I believe so, too. She looked so beautiful. As though she might smile back at any moment. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. So this all leads back to... So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. And she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. We'd better go and see her first thing tomorrow. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? Well, that would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zach. We're all family here. Okay. This is interesting. I mean, for how much hate I do have for this game, the story is really interesting. It's just the game mechanics and the waiting is fucking annoying as shit, so. But the actual story seems to be okay, as long as they don't fucking screw it up. But I don't see him doing that. It's going really good. Yeah, you puppy. Why are you here, puppy? Puppy, so cute. Oh, yeah, boy, the ball. Second sacrifice cleared. Yay! Okay. Got bonus reward, basic wage, wage unpaid salary. What? Let's see. Part one. Oh, I. I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was she was totally depressed about something. Like Quint the death? called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? In school? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. Yeah. They said they were going to visit Greenvale Forest Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk, that dog of his. Kaysen, do you know him well? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> okay, I understand. But the situation calls for urgency. 
I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. Potato. Let's go. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'm assuming you're getting in the car with me. And today, we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. Zack, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh. It's Carol. It's Carol. I want to talk to her. She's not going to stop, so I don't know why I'd bother. But, ah, uh, let's go. Oh, uh, hold on, I'm going to look at the map. Now that I know that I can look at the map while in the safety of a car. Oh, wait, what? Where is it? What? Okay, so I need to go here and here and like up here. And... This is me. I'm assuming this is me. So I need to turn around and take this road down here. Oh! Stop it! Stop it! So, ah! Uh... Oh my god! God damn it, car! Oh yeah, that'll do. Ah! God, no! Bad driving skill. I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right. I know. But, oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? Uh, what do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? She's crazy. <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an obvious answer. I thought you'd say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to... Shh, I'm sorry, I've got a new love. I need to... Look at the map quickly. Is it up here? Yes, it is. Okay. No, nope, stop it. Stop it. Okay. See, if we don't have to use the map a little bit better, I'm doing fine. Everything is great, apart from we're in this stupid fucking car. But apart from that, it's fine. This car. I'm gonna, like, explode in this car. Next time I should take a piece of this. Just... This one's fast and all, but man, am I bad at driving it? Jesus Christ. Uh, yep, I wanted to reverse up this hill. That was exactly what I had planned. Well done, car, for knowing what I was going to do before I even started doing it. 